Okay guys, so today's video is going to be on the stupid impulse buy that I done, um, done did on Sunday, Saturday night and it was partly due to an eBay app screw up so I'm still hearing back about that. However, I won a bid on a Phantom 4 drone. Um, I'm always wary about eBay. This is actually the first purchase that I've actually won. So I'm always skeptical about eBay, whether it's actually viable, like the, the things that are being sold are actually working. Um, and of something of this calibre, the risk is a wee bit higher. I did spend quite a lot on this, so we'll see how it goes. Um, but today's going to be an unboxing, and then I'll do a flight test, etc., and see how it works in a wee bit. Um, but yeah, we'll get down to the unboxing of my stupid impulse buy. Um, I got caught up in the auction process. So, to give some more info on this, um, other than the stupid purchase, um, I got it for £250 cheaper than I would have in a store. Now, from that, you can guess how much I've spent on it, um, but we'll see if it's a valid purchase. If not, I will be going through the eBay refund policy and the consumer will be contacted as uh, the supplier will be contacted as well. Um, but we'll get down into unboxing this. So this is the box came in. Um, I have removed any sensitive information, um, but we will unbox it. As you can see, it is very um, well packaged, a lot of tape. Lot of lot of tape. Where, where to start? Um, I feel a seam here, so Oh yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. We got it. Got my little unboxing knife. If you decide to focus, there we go. A little unboxing knife. So, we shall cut the rest of this open and see whether I have been had off or not. Okay, so I've got rid of that box that it was in. It is very well wrapped in bubble wrap. I will have great delight in bursting all of this later on. Um, anyway, with the eBay listing, it said that we had a free carry case with it. I think it's actually in that carry case, so we'll find out in a second. I could, could have been like Mars Bar and been like, I know nothing about this. Let's do um, an unboxing. Find out what's in it. And the box is already opened completely. Um, and he flips it over and opens the other side for some reason, rather than saying, I've already had a look. Had no idea what it was, but here it is. So, all about that dramatic effect sort of thing. Um, but yeah. There is a lot of bubble wrap. Jeez. That will come in handy for my business venture that I'm doing currently. Um, which is actually in retail now. Um, I'm currently building up a stock of 
the next thing that I'm going to be releasing and that way I don't they don't have a long wait for what they're looking for uh, in the store uh, but yeah I decided to buy oh, you probably can't hear me over this there we go yep as I expected it is in the carry case that was coming with it it's got a nice cool logo on it it's got a substantial metal handle on it as well which is more interesting we will get through that somehow Phantom 4 with carry case. We shall open it up and it'll just be the standard Phantom case inside if it comes out. Which comes out not too bad, not too not too difficult. Uh, open up the case. I'll have a wee quick inspect of it and see how it is. It's got a wee bit of wear on the landing gear. Not too much wear on the contacts. As I was told, it had only had a few hours flying. May clean out the, the battery casing. It uh, comes with an SD card, which is pretty sweet. A wee 16 gigabit SD card. Uh, you've got your gimbal mount and holder. Uh, the battery pack. Something's making a buzzing noise. Um, I'll put this down. <laughs> the that's a little bit annoying. Yeah. The controller with mount, which is pretty sweet. Uh, all of the necessary cables, I believe. Yeah. The other cable and block is in AC block is in there. Four rotors. Yeah. Seems all to be there. Okay guys, so with a dramatic upshot, I'm gonna end this video. We are going to charge it all up test and see that all of it's working all right and then I will do another video on the test flights the review of what it's like to buy big ticket items on eBay um, so far it has been a positive experience being a first time user of eBay in that case of buying things I've always just browsed on eBay um, but as always guys, until next time, keep it real, hunt the thrill, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Nee bother, nee dramas, or that jazz.